today. We have this GTX 1050 from Gigabyte, it's a non-TI. The card doesn't work. First step is always uh, measure the resistance on the voltage rails, and I did that. And sure enough, it's 5 volts LDO. Is the output of that is shorted to ground. Now, these LDOs do fail sometimes, but in this case, I don't think that's the issue since uh, the adjust pin as well as the supply pin have normal resistance. So that leads me to believe that it's uh, the issue is on the output. Now, with the 1050, uh, there are two 5 volt voltage rails. One is this, and one is this one here, U510. This U510 is basically the common 5 volt for most of the chips that have an input or need 5 volt as, uh, to power it. And that's on that rail. This one here is only for the display out, for the HDMI connectors, display port, DVI ports, and so on. And, and to further troubleshoot, of this nifty uh, HDMI breakout connector thingy and plug it in. The 5 volt uh, supply rail on the HDMI connector is on pin number 18. And I've put my multimeter into continuity mode, so if there is contact, it beeps. I'll put it on the ground. And sure enough. 5 volt is shorted out. I'm pretty sure, so I had a look at the connectors and I found that the DVI port has one pin that's pushed inside uh, into the connector inside. And what I think what happens, and it's the um, shield, uh, shielding pin that's pushed in. Shielding basically means ground. And I think that the shielding pin that's pushed in actually made contact with the 5 volts rail and that happens to be right above it. So I'm pretty sure that that's, there is our issue. That's also the reason usually when you have a short on a voltage rail, you can input or you can ingest voltage and see what component gets hot, replace it, be done. Not really an option here since A, it's inside the connector, B, it's very low resistance. Options to uh, remedy that. My least preferred option would be to replace the connector. As you can see here, these connectors are quite a lot of uh, area, so you need to melt solder all of that area to actually remove the connector. And if it's not absolutely needed, I don't want to do that. Second option is to remove that shielding, so desolder the pin here and somehow maybe drill it out um, so that, that that shielding pin isn't connected anymore and so don't short it out. And the third option is um, we ha can have a look inside the connector, maybe we can bend it. And lastly, uh, I tried to pull the pin out, but I wasn't successful with like tweezers on it, anything because it's quite stuck and it's a small hole. So yeah, that would be the best option, obviously. So. I'll remove the slot uh, cover and then we'll further look at it. So now, as you can see here, we have this pin here that's pushed inside. And um, I'm pretty sure that we can pull it out. So I think that fixed it. Um, I just pulled it out a little bit and um, yeah, let's have a look at the resistance. So my meter is in resistance mode. I go to ground point and the output and sure enough we have 500 ohms or in excess of 500 ohms. So let's try it out. So let's start the computer. Nice. So, as you can see, the card is working just fine. The takeaway message from this video is basically shorts can be in places where you don't suspect them, or at least I didn't. 
yeah, part of that it was successful repair. I wouldn't use, or I keep this car, or I will keep this car for a further project. I wouldn't use the DVI connector. If you want or need to use the DVI connector, I would probably re replace it anyways, because there is a quite high chance that we push it back in as soon as we use a cable. But the card has two dis two or three, I don't know, three display uh, HDMI and one display port, so there is enough connectivity. So I hope you enjoyed and you learned something. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Have a great day.